Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyan and welcome to Revolution. So on today's video what I am going to be discussing is basically when you boil it down what is the stronger fusion out of the Metamorese fusion and the Patara fusion. Now in terms of utilizing both these fusions there is only one pair of characters that have used both fusions even though one hasn't been used in canon per se that being Gogeta who appeared in the 12th Dragon Ball Z movie Fusion Reborn as well as his Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta fusion in Dragon Ball GT both of those interpretations not being canon to the Dragon Ball Z manga or even the Dragon Ball Super anime. Now what has prompted me to make this video was basically the fact that people keep asking me what is the stronger fusion and if I am honest I thought it was already a well known fact about who is stronger, I will get to who is stronger shortly, but it turns out that a large proportion of the Dragon Ball community still are not aware of basically how strong these two fusions are. So I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I'm going to keep my opinions on these characters completely out of it. I am merely going to present to you the figures that have been put forward to us by Dragon Ball guidebooks. And then basically, if you can't accept those details, unfortunately, I can't do anything for you. So seeing as the Metamoran fusion was the first fusion to make its debut in the Dragon Ball series via Trunks and Goten with their fusion resulting in Gotenks, we will start with the Metamoran fusion. So basically, as said before, Gogeta is from GT and the movies and GT and the movies were not written by Akira Toriyama. They are not his work. They were produced and written by Toei Animation. Now, whilst the Metamoran fusion of Gotenks is canon to the Dragon Ball Z series, Gogeta is not. Now, Toei have provided the GT Perfect files, which give us an indication of how powerful Gogeta is. It doesn't give us an exact figure, or it doesn't give us the multiplication of how powerful the fusion is, but it gives us a very good indication of how much multiplication in power or for an even better word an estimate of a certain range of possible power. Now obviously by now you probably noticed that this picture is not in English however fortunately for us we have a translation and it's on your screen right now. For those of you that can't be asked to read I will read it for you. So basically Gogeta is a warrior with no equal born from the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. He has red hair and a character that is a bit childish. He can defeat Omega Shenlong only with one finger. His strength is dozens of times more powerful than a normal Super Saiyan 4. He can shoot an extraordinary shot, which is a mix of the Big Bang Attack and the Kamehameha Wave. Now, obviously listening to me there, I really put a lot of emphasis on the word dozens. It is dozens more times powerful than a normal Super Saiyan 4. And by Super Saiyan 4, you've got to imagine that means Goku. So dozens, what does that possibly mean? Well, if it was to be hundreds of times more powerful, they would have used the word hundreds of times. But they didn't. They used the word dozens. And that gives us a certain range of how powerful this fusion could be. So it doesn't say dozen, it said dozens, which indicates that it's a multiplication of a dozen and a dozen is 12. So if you go by times two, that makes 24. And remember, it's in the wording, they did not use hundreds. So therefore, that indicates that the dozens only goes up to a certain number and that has to be below the number 100. And whilst you probably don't need me to do that maths for you, that is... 8 times a dozen, 8 times 12 equals 96. If you were to times it by 9, that would make 108, therefore contradicting what the wording in the perfect GT files say. So going by the GT perfect files, Gogeta at a bare minimum, if you lowball him, he is 24 more times powerful than Goku, or if you highball him, he is 96 times more powerful than Goku. Does this also correspond to the movie versions of Gogeta? Yes, because it is written by the same people and that is Toei. 
So there are the numbers on that particular fusion. You could argue that maybe Gotenks multiplication is different as that was written by Akira Toriyama, but nothing in that fusion contradicts these numbers. In fact, if you actually weigh them up, it makes quite a lot of sense. So we move on to the Patara version of the fusion of Goku and Vegeta, and that is Vegito. So basically, Vegito is a character written by Akira Toriyama, and it is canon to the Dragon Ball Z manga, as well as the Dragon Ball Super series, as we have recently seen him in his Super Saiyan Blue form, Vegito Blue, when he faces off against merged Zamasu. Now, with Vegito, there are two different sources in which you can get an indication of what his power is. The first one I'm going to use is the Super Exciting Guides. Now, this guide was supervised by Toriyama, but we don't know how extensive his input was, so some people like to disregard it. However, if we go on what the Super Exciting Guide says, basically what Vegito is, is Fusey A times Fusey B. Now, whilst the original idea of this fusion was not to be in a transformed state whilst fusing, whilst merged Zamasu was being formed, Goku Black was actually still in his Super Saiyan Rose transformation, which indicates even though it might not be advised, you can fuse in a transformed state. So in this example, if a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta both fused, it would be those two at their maximum power times each other. Now that I can't even put a number on how much more times powerful that is. It is literally unprecedented. Anyway, many people view the super exciting guides as vague on this particular topic and like to disregard it as I said before. However, that is what the super excited guides supervised by Toriyama state. Anyway, there is another source that will give us at least more of a an actual figure to base this fusion on and that is the Daizenshu and whilst this number is nowhere near what the super exciting guides claim it could be it still doesn't contradict super exciting guides either in fact this is literally a number that you could consider a bare minimum a huge low ball for Goku so if you consider the super exciting guides a huge high ball this is the biggest low ball you can get so to get an indication of Vegito's power, in the Daizenshu we get this paragraph here and it says, Being a combination of two Saiyans, his appearance hasn't changed all that much and feels like a combination of Goku's face and Vegeta's hairstyle. He has both Vegeta's cool-headed battle strategies and Goku's pure fighting sense and there can be no doubt that his strength measures even greater than that of a Super Saiyan 3. So I won't read the rest of that paragraph, but basically what that means is that Vegito's base is greater than a Super Saiyan 3. The only non fused Super Saiyan 3 we know of is Goku. And what do we know about the Super Saiyan 3 transformation? Well, it is 400 times base. Super Saiyan being 50 times base, Super Saiyan 2 being 2 times Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan 3 being 4 times Super Saiyan 2, equaling in 400 times base. So as in this instance, Goku and Vegeta fused in their base and they became Vegito in his base. Therefore, Vegito base, to be even greater than a Super Saiyan 3, has to be at least 401 times base. So that indicates that at bare minimum, the Patara fusion is a 401 times multiplier. So there you have it, the Metamoran fusion going on the GT Perfect files is anywhere from a 24 to 96 times multiplier and Patara Fusion going on either the super exciting guides or bare minimuming the Daizenshu, I think I just made up a word there, is either a 401 times upwards multiplier or Fusey A times Fusey B and that could be in the millions, trillions. I don't even want to do that math. However, I will say there is nothing in the anime, manga, or pretty much anywhere that contradicts what the super exciting guide claims. So basically, I think from those numbers, you can make your conclusion. I know I have mine. I won't give it because I don't want to upset any Gogeta or Vegito fans. But the numbers are on the screen. Make of it what you will. 
my objective was mainly just to inform you on these characters and what it states in these Dragon Ball guides. Because of the recent retcon in Dragon Ball Super, both fusions have time limits based on energy expenditure. They both have generally similar movesets, not exactly the same, but similar. Both fusions are extremely formidable. You wouldn't want to take on either if you was the opposite force, unless you're Zeno. However, a major benefit with the Metamoran fusion is you don't have to have a Supreme Kai around at the time. I mean, you can't exactly keep a god of creation as a pet. Anyway, whatever way you interpret the information I put out, this wasn't me being biased. I was simply pretty much putting out what has been put in the guides. But if you feel I've missed something, please let me know in the comments section. And I know this topic has been done to death, but I wanted to make it as clear and concise as possible. Anyway, hit that like button with a universe busting attack. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I have got some great content coming on the way. I believe you'll like it. I believe that you'll like the content that I already have on my channel. So hit that subscribe button and you will get my content to your account as soon as it's released. And if you've watched my videos before, you know what's coming next. There is one very, very, very important message I must deliver to you. And that is... Vegito shit stomps Gogeta. Oh fuck, I gave my opinion. Hello guys, hit that beautiful face in the top left corner. Punch me in the face to subscribe to my channel. And here is some more content from my channel which I am very, very sure you will all enjoy.